What's up YouTube? Balboa here with a brand new Batman video review. This time the Dark Knight Rises Quick Tech Attack Armored Bat Pod. Now I would like to heavily apologize for not posting a video in a while and for not posting a vlog on Halloween. I will be posting a vlog for Thanksgiving that will explain everything. So if you've been curious, please check out that video when it comes out. So, let's get started with the review. Now, the actual packaging for this thing is really oversized considering with what you get. I mean, granny have this in there too, but it's still pretty big. Uh, very cool packaging. P Batman got the Dark Knight Rises logo. Uh, you have the name of the figure. It's um, modes on the bottom. Nothing on the back. He has some pictures. Uh, there's a bio, but I'm not gonna read it. You could just go down there. And uh, yeah. Now, what's really cool about this is that it includes a really nice pamphlet. Very cool. It's actually a collector's booklet. And you open it up and you have a really cool display of some of the toys. Except for, I'm not quite sure what that one is. I don't think that's in the toy line. But anyway, um, you have some of the, uh, I think these are the $12 figures. Uh, then you have these weird vehicles. I don't like these only because they have the... Uh, figure molded in and he's not removable. I hate when they do that. Uh, you have this toy You have the bat which I will be buying one of these days I'm just gonna wait till it goes in clearance some of the uh, 12 inch figures some role play weapons and When you get to here it actually becomes a pamphlet for the new power attack series You got the power attack batmobile with some of the vehicles you got uh, some of the action um, punching figures, and you got the first three waves, the Lava Mission Wave, Swamp Mission Wave, and Arctic Mission Wave. You also have a cool display of the figures, although I'm not sure what this vehicle is here. Uh, let me know, it actually looks pretty cool, I might buy that one. So anyway, we'll put this aside and talk about the vehicle. Now this is the Bat Pod, and we're gonna remove Batman, only so we can get a better look at the vehicle. Now, this Batman figure is... A cheap figure. He's got a ball jointed head. If I zoom in, he has a ball jointed head along with swiveling up and down with grippy hands. He, it seems like he has a waist joint. Well, that's probably just there when they snap the figure together. So we'll actually put him aside to talk about the vehicle. Now, for those of you who never got the Bat Pod from the original Dark Knight line, which yeah, I'm one of those guys. I'm still trying to track down a cheap. Bat, uh, bat, <laughs> Batmobile, bat, uh, Batmobile launching Bat Pod. Uh, this one has almost no detailing. It has some little detail in here, but not a lot. Uh, the only real thing to speak of is that this piece is molded a different color for some reason. This is the only paint that's on the actual toy. And, uh, well, there's actually some paint on this thing, but whatever. Uh, these are molded, and these are molded in a squ squishy plastic. Uh, safety reasons, I guess. Now, you can remove these, so you can have a bat pod without the front-mounted cannons. Uh, it rolls very well. And, uh, that's really it. There's nothing really too much to speak of. Now, getting Batman onto the bat pod, you just need to clip him onto the clip in the middle. Now, getting his hands into the actual, um, uh, handles can be very tricky. And it does require a little bit of time because I feel like I'm going to break it because the handles are molded in a thin plastic and then this is molded in a thin plastic and I have to move it so that worries me a lot. But anyway, you can have Batman uh, drive the thing. He can't really look up enough to actually see where he's going so, so he'll just be like, I hope I don't hit anything. <laughs> but anyway, uh, rolls very well. I really like it. Now, I actually like this thing, but I could have easily lived without it. Now, what we do is we take the square here, and we line it with the hole here, and we just have it locked in place. Now, it kind of gives this, this big jet booster kind of look, and that's what it looks like. Now, over here is a button with, with a molded Batman symbol. Not sure if you can see it. Pushing that will cause it to transform but there are a few problems one when you push this by the way there's the there's a little more paint on this toy um, but when you push the button here's what happens 
you have to move your finger out really fast. And sometimes these sides will get stuck. Because otherwise your finger will be in the way and you won't be able to have this fold down. Now when this folds down, these are supposed to fold in and clip themselves because you have kind of like a mushroom peg system here and then these clips here that clip onto it. So it would have been kind of cool if it, the button was somewhere else that you push it and this folds and then these fold and locks it in place so you don't have to. Alright, so with that said, let's talk about this mode. This mode's kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. I rather like the way this looks. Um, it is kind of a shame that these are sticking out, but they're, you can pretend they're fins. Just little swing things here. Now, some tech detail, some vents, very cool. Uh, the giant cannon. Um, a lot of people have actually not liked it. And what you can actually do is unpeg it. It's just a simple square peg that you can then peg like that. So if you don't like the big cannon, you don't have to have it on. Now, you to shoot the cannon, you push the top, but uh, I guess this wouldn't be a scope. I'm not sure what this will be, but you push this down and it launches the projectile. Now, the missile is very cool because it's, uh, it can be, the, when it's this way, you can, be, you can be like, oh, it's heat, or it can just be like a flaming laser or something, I guess. Uh, either way, it, does, it looks good. And it, the spring does actually have a nice bit of kick to it, so it's a very powerful spring. And again, if you don't like it, you can just take it off. Now, to transform it back, you want to pull off the sides to unlatch it, then fold this back. When you fold it back, you can then ha push these back, and you can see that the holes here, see, will tab into the lock systems here. And by the way, you can't really shoot the missile unless you get force your thumb to hit here. That locks it in place. Then you can pull this off. It does take a, take a good grip to pull this off. A uh, fair tug and a good grip because this this rather uh, is a tight connection system, and I'm a little amazed. In fact, okay, never mind. I thought that you could have the missile here. That just popped in my head. But anyway, um, yeah. So that you just need to do that, and you have this, and you just put it to the side. Now, is this thing recommendable? And honestly, I don't think it really is. Now, I bought this because I can't find the original bat pod. But if you're like me who can't find one and really wants a bat pod because it looks freaking awesome, I totally recommend jumping on on this thing. It is a little weird and a little cheap. But I actually do like the way it looks with this on. I'm not going to lie. It looks cool. Look. It looks cool, I'm not gonna lie. But it, it does, it's more like an aesthetic taste than anything, so if you don't like this, then you may put off on it. And if you don't like the giant cannon, well, you can fix that, that's no problem. So, yeah, it's 20 bucks, 20, 15, 20 bucks, I think I paid um, 20 bucks for this. It is a little pricey for what you get, considering it's so small, but I would jump on it only because. Well, this is the last Batman movie, and, well, the last Batman movie in this series, so, yeah, you're gonna want to try and get a Bat Pod. And this may not be the best Bat Pod, but it's still a Bat Pod, so, I'll leave this one up to you. Uh, so, yeah, this one's up to you. Would you buy it? Let me know in the comment section. As always, I appreciate your feedback and everything you guys do. Till then, I'll see you guys next time with another video review. Adios.